Hello, Facebook Live fans. My name is Jack Newby, Executive Director at the Jocelyn Center. Welcome to our Interview Friday show. Uh, we're running a little late today, but um, you will be able to see us uh, in several places on Facebook, as well as the Jocelyn Center uh, YouTube channel called Jocelyn Television. Uh, so before we get to our interview today, there are a few things I want to touch base with you on uh, about the Jocelyn Center and what's happening here. Uh, and if you want to get our email newsletter, you can go to jocelyncenter.org and there is a tab on there where you can sign up for the newsletter and every uh, Saturday morning, you'll find out what's happening for the coming week. Uh, so one of the things we're going to be doing starting this uh, um, in April is checking people's memberships. We know that for good reason, many people did not renew their memberships during COVID. Uh, and are coming in now and enjoying our cl classes and our programs and our services. Uh, so your membership is very important to us. It helps make sure we can continue doing that. Uh, so we will be checking memberships uh, in October. I mean, in October, in, in April. I'm way ahead of myself. Um, also coming up is our uh, Jocelyn and Bloom fashion show. Uh, and we have just a few more tickets left. And that is uh, produced by Susan Stein. And Susan is, of course, the producer of Fashion Week Al Paseo. So we've got a great event coming up for you. It's called Jocelyn Bloom Tropicalia. So it has a Brazilian flair to it and Brazilian music. Um, we're glad to welcome back the Allen Foundation as our presenting sponsor. Uh, we also have Hot Purple Energy as our orchid sponsor. Uh, we have Bird, uh, our Bird of Paradise sponsors. Uh, Desert Oasis Healthcare, Coachella Valley Wellness Foundation, uh, Steve Tobin, Johnny Krupa, and the Grace Helen Spearman Foundation, uh, Barry Kaufman, Margo Handelsman, uh, Barbara Rogers, and Gary Geske, and also we have Barbara Mitchell and the Foundation on Aging uh, as our Plumeria sponsors, along with Linda Blank and Pamela Lee. So we really want to uh, encourage you to attend that. If you don't have your tickets, you need to get them now. So again, go to our website, jawsoncenter.org, uh, and purchase your tickets for that a uh, great event coming up on April 13th at the Agua Caliente uh, Resort Casino and Spa. Um, also we have coming up uh, is uh, our wellness center programs uh, and that uh, we have um, Brain Boot Camp is scheduled as well as uh, our Aging Mastery Program. So check with the Wellness Center at 760-340-3220 and ask for Alex. He's at extension 117. Also coming up is a great party presented by Desert Oasis Healthcare. That's our Cinco de Mayo, uh, of course, on May 5th. Uh, and that's $10 a ticket and, and space is limited for that. Um, and we have uh, coming up on May 26th, uh, the California Highway Patrol is presenting a safe driving uh, senior driver education class, and that's on May 26th at 11 o'clock. So as you can see, there's a lot going on with the Jocelyn Center, uh, a lot for you to, to look forward to and participate in. We have our Go for Life exercise class at uh, 8 in the morning, so that's a great way to start your day. Uh, and the upcoming Brain Boot Camp class, I have that date now, is uh, starting on April 11th, and then it is April 18th. It's a two session course. So those are some of the things happening at the Jocelyn Center. Uh, we really uh, welcome you and encourage you to join. Um, right now, uh, we're gonna move to our interview and we have with us Sam Toder. Uh, and Sam is with uh, ActiCare, uh, which is home health care, or uh, organization here in the desert. Welcome, Sam. We appreciate uh, you joining us. Uh, and I should probably clarify that, or maybe you can clarify it for me. You provide non-medical care. Is that right? We do. We provide non-medical in-home care so seniors can maintain an active and independent lifestyle. Yeah, so many seniors now, they, they're able, they would be able to stay at home if they had some, some care to help them. Uh, and this kind of home care is the perfect sort of solution for them. Um, tell us some of the services that you provide. 
So we provide in-home senior care and services. Um, a lot of the care that we provide is good for people with dementia on hospice. We do personal care, such as, uh, as helping with activities of daily living. Um, we also have uh, help with Alzheimer's and respite memory care and companion care. Um, we do a lot of um, uh, meal preparation, uh, medication reminders, light housekeeping, running errands, going to doctor's appointments, things like that as well. And we actually just added on pet care services. Um, so any kind of dog walking or uh, if you're going out of town and you need someone to watch your dog, things like that as well. So that's really gives people peace of mind that they can go out of town and, and have someone there to, to watch their pets and someone they're familiar with and the pets are familiar with it, particularly if they've been uh, caring for the person. Um, how about we have many people um, here at the Jocelyn Center that come with their caregivers. Is that something that you will do is provide transportation to um, activities and events? We do. All of our caregivers are, uh, you know, in good standing with the driving, um, the DMV, and um, they could either use the client's car or they'll use their own car, whatever is preferred. So tell us a little bit about yourself. What got you involved in this and, and how long have you been working in this type of business? Yeah, so I've been in LVN for over 10 years and um, I have a background in mental health and dementia, specifically with the elderly population. And um, after COVID, I decided that I wanted to start my own business. So I joined um, with Acticare, who's been around since 2007. And I joined in with them and opened the location here in Palm Desert. Now, when someone gets in touch with you, and, and why don't you tell us how they can get in touch with you? Yes, I do have a call center um, and I have a website as well. Um, I You could also call my cell phone. I'm available 24 hours, seven days a week. Um, so if someone would get in contact with me, I would come out and do a free consultation. I would also do the assessment and the healthcare plan since I have a nursing background. And then we would um, get started, find out what your needs are and go from there. And now do you have a certain minimum that people have to um, contract with you or are you flexible on that? We're, we're flexible, but I do have a minimum of three hours a day. Um, so if somebody wanted someone to come in, let's say two days a week, um, they would have to be six hours a week and or three hours per day. And um, they could do as many hours. Uh, they could even go up to 24 hours a day if they needed. And tell us a little bit about your caregivers. Do you provide training and, and um, ongoing uh, continuing education for your caregivers? I do. So um, I do use a Relias platform, um, which comes complimentary to all my caregivers. They're all registered with the California Caregivers Association, and um, they get um, as many hours as they want um, to do. I have a minimum of 10 hours that needs to be done every week or every year, but they could do as many as they want. It's an unlimited hours available to them. And whenever I do a consultation and sign on a new client and I do a healthcare plan, I review that plan with the caregiver as well. And then um, on the first visit, I come back with the caregiver. I like to do a nice little handoff, introduce them. I stay for about an hour, make sure the family's comfortable. And then, and then I leave, and then they're in the hands of the caregiver. Um, now, in what area do you provide your services? Where you, where your service is concentrated? Yeah, I service um, all of the Coachella Valley. I do Palm Desert, Indio, um, Bermuda Dunes, Thousand Palms, Rancho Mirage, Palm Springs, Cathedral City, pretty much everywhere from when you hit Palm Springs till you hit the end of Indio. Sounds like a pretty big area and a lot of work that you're doing. Yes. <laughs> um, so if someone, you know, we, we know that there are a lot of um, caregiving agencies here in the desert and people may talk to different ones. What should they look for when they're, when they're 
seeking a caregiving agency and someone who is you know coming into their home um, and and being in in very close contact with them what should they what questions should they ask and what should they look for the most important thing i personally think is most important is to make sure that the um the organization doesn't have any citations or um or is not under any kind of suspension for any legal problems also and you can find that out it's public record it's also great to make sure that they have insurance and workers comp and that they're bonded so if something happens to the client or the caregiver in the home they're both protected and it's also important to feel like um you have a good relationship with the owner which would be me um in, in that case, I find it that I, there, um, I like to be in the homes and I like to follow up. Um, and at least once a week, I'm always doing that with my clients. In fact, I just came from one today who I took over from someone else and they said they had never even met the owner before. So I like to be very personable. That's something that I think is important, especially when you're working with a family. Um, and also that the caregivers are registered on the California Caregivers Board and that um, they have all their continuing education hours up to date. Those are the most important things that I would look for in a caregiver um, for any one of my family members. I think, you know, the, the workers' compensation part of it and the insurance part of it are very important. And I don't know how many still um, do this, but I know that there were you know, have been and, and continue to be some organizations that say that they, they're a referral agency. They refer you someone to, to work for you at a certain schedule, and they're more like independent contractors. And, yes. you know, if that person should get hurt or should hurt you because they're perhaps uh, helping transfer you to your bed or something like that, or helping you with showering or, or other personal um, necessities, if they should injure you or drop you or something, you know, should happen, uh, you would have to look at the individual caregiver as opposed to uh, an established company that had the insurance and had the workers' compensation. So I know we have heard um, of unfortunate incidents like that. And so I just wanted to stress that it's really important to check and make sure that it's that you know and and sometimes people are attracted to those other organizations because they might cost a little less yeah um, but the peace of mind and knowing that the insurance coverage is there is really important yeah i think for a couple dollars more it's good to go with someone with quality um and my thing is always you get what you pay for so um you know i <laughs> I, I, I'm always like, want the safest thing possible. And all my caregivers are my employees, none are independent contractors. Um, so they are an extension of me and they are all protected. Now you had mentioned earlier a website or a phone number to get in touch. Would you want to share those with us? And yes, you can go to acttocare.com forward slash palm dash desert dot ca. And that will take you to my website. You can also call me on my cell phone, which is 818-400-0216. I'm from Los Angeles, so that's why I have an 818 number in case you're wondering. Um, but I do live in Palm Desert, and I am available. And ActiCare is A A C T I K A R E. Okay. Yes. Um, so that's acticare.com, and there's a dash between acti and care, right, for the for website? The, for the website, you can just put acticare.com forward slash palm desert, and it'll take you to okay. my website. You could even Google acticare palm desert, and it'll pop up. I have, um, I have a Google account, and you could also look at some reviews and testimonials and things like that. Okay, that's great information. And again, that phone number to call you? Yes, 818-400-0216. So I want to I wanna thank you. Oh, one thing I wanted to ask you that I, I had forgotten, you know, some people may not need, or some families may not need, you know, a caregiver a couple of days a week or something like that. But if they're wanting to go on vacation or get away, 
Um, they do need respite care, someone that they can trust that will come in and take care of their loved one. Is that a service that you offer? We do. We do offer that. And um, however many days or weeks it is, we can have someone come in and help you guys out. And, and that's really important. And, you know, we hear from so many caregivers that they just need some time off for themselves. And the statistics yeah. are not very good for caregivers that are um, so involved in taking care of someone that the caregiver ends up uh, having problems or becoming ill because they're not taking care of their health or they're stressed. Uh, so yeah. that respite care is really important. Definitely. Yes, that is something that we offer. So, um, Sam, I want to thank you for joining us for our Jocelyn uh, interview Friday. Thank uh, you. And for anyone, again, that wants to contact you, that number one more time. 818-400-0216. Okay, thank you so much for joining us for the Jocelyn interview Friday and have a great weekend and and we look forward to seeing you here at the Jocelyn Center. Bye bye.